This is... I'm so scared. I'm so nervous, man. Here goes absolutely nothing. Ooh, okay. There she is. Go, 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 go. Dodge the fire breath. Oh, sweet lord. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Art Scotch Earth Ascended. Today we are going to get a little wild, a little crazy. We have set up the sauna in order to hatch a wyvern egg. Yes, sir. That's what's going to happen today. But first, we're going to need something that flies a little quicker than our Argentavis over there because he's mostly weight and stamina just for kind of transporting goods and metal and things back and forth. The base is looking nice and pretty. Look at this guy. Look at it. Wouldn't you just look at that? We got it nice and broken up with some reinforcements and things. Jar Jar 2 is in here. We still haven't lost him. We got a little bit of a chandelier action, generator, some air conditioning units in the windows, and a beautiful overlooking balcony. Really enjoying this base location. Actually, zero issues. I'm not getting attacked by anything. There's really good airdrops that pop in in the area, so like I'm getting extremely good armors and blueprints and things that are going to just help us in the long run, especially facing the boss and taming the new creatures and stuff. But as I said, we need a faster Argentavis. Since this is a single player world, I set it up where the flyers are uh, able to level up in speed. So that's what we need. We need Lightning McQueen on our side. But of course, QT the UT is going to be useful just getting up and in here. I have darts, I have arrows, but I just want to get up here and try to find the highest level RG possible. But little old me ran out of crystals and chitin and keratin. So I need to actually scoop some more up. Because believe it or not, I still haven't made myself a spyglass. I actually haven't tamed anything where I needed a spyglass. And this feels like the first time that a spyglass would probably come in handy. Especially uh, when we're scouting out for the wyvern egg. Oh, we got one on the ground right here. Not sure what level he is. I'll hit him with a dart. A level two? Yeah, maybe we just do that. I don't really care for a level two personally. What level are we looking at here? 14 and eight. These are all just not, not worth while. Ugh. See you later. QT, we need to go find one that's worthwhile. And I also see a beautiful red airdrop down here that we can go scoop. What are you going to have for me today, you red airdrop? I'm really hoping for, I believe it's a not a helmet. Ooh, a Mastercraft Rex saddle. I haven't seen a Rex in a while, it feels like. But I wouldn't mind a couple of them. But what we're looking for is gloves. We have decent armor for, like, the desert, and then I want some, like, good flat gloves or some riot gloves or something like that. We got a couple more Argentavises around the bend here. Let's go see what level they are. Hello, Argies. Oh, my God. That's quite a few Carnos. I'm going to munch them and crunch them for their prime, too, because we're going to need those for the speedy boy. Uh, uh. Eh. Level 70, huh? Putting up a little bit of a a little bit of a fight, are ya? Crunch and munch that guy over there. We got a little bit more melee damage on this puppy. Like 5000 HP is well well enough for a UT. I'm going to have to take out this guy too. Just clear the area for a good safe landing for the RGs. Come on. There you go. Getting ridiculous amount of levels off of this. Usually I'm not even taking the UD out. I'm just flying. Uh, let's go ahead and hit you. What level are you going to be? Just going to knock it out and find out, I guess. We're looking at level 5. What is with the low level RGs? 39. Okay, see, that's... That's okay. I feel like I could deal with a 39. Some decent base stats and stamina. We don't want to be landing too much, as much as we are going up in speed. I'm still going to need speed and stam. 
And honestly, maybe a little bit of HP because I need to be able to survive a, like a like a little wyvern swipe. You know what I'm saying? So we grab the prime off of this puppy. Put it into this guy. Titanosaur at the top of the mountain still hanging out as he always is. But while we wait, I was going to say I actually need to find a scorpion. Which is funny that he decided to just kind of roll up. Hello there, Mr. Scorpion. Because I needed a little bit more keratin. Oh gosh. Please leave me alone. Oh, micro raptor action. It's the first time I've been bounced at by one of those in Scorched Earth. Right, and I've been over here quite a bit, so that's surprising. And I might actually be able to get like 15 or 20 keratin off of this guy. We used all our keratin and all our chitin on making cementing paste to get all of our electronics running. There we go. To craft the fabricated sniper rifle as well. Just give me a little smidge. Just a little smidge. A little, a little love. There we go. That should be enough, actually. Alright, that should do it right there. Argentavis saddle. Beautiful. And this puppy should be eating momentarily, I hope. Yep, there we go. One more bite. And he's up and running. Lightning McQueen is ready to go. There's so many micro raptors over here. Hello? We all good, micro raptor? I have a bullet with your name on it. Oh, okay. I got two bullets with your name on it. And I also just noticed, actually, this is a Mastercraft Uteranus saddle. But look at that hide, silica, pearl, and metal count. Oh my god. But wouldn't that be phenomenal to have on this guy? I mean, I would be legitimately invincible, but I don't know what could really kill me on Uteranus besides maybe like another couple of Uteranuses or like a large group of Deodons mixed with the Uteranus or something like that. But right now, I think the Uteranus might be the king of the jungle. It was on the island as well. All right, and he's about to eat here momentarily, and then we just got to escort him home. Three, two, and a one. There we go. Beautiful. Now you need to follow QT, and we need to get you home safely. That's a really cool looking car note. I'm not gonna lie. Almost thought it was an alpha at first, but no, it's just a really cool black and red car note. I'm just gonna scoot around this corner. Those thorny dragons making them noises again, man. I always wanna go out of my way to murder them. Let's just get into this little mix here. There we go. Another Carno that these guys should pretty much leave us alone. Like I said, UT, king of the jungle, king of the desert, king of everything. All right, Lightning McQueen. We're really gonna put this guy to the test. This can go one of two ways, good or bad. If you didn't expect those to be the two ways, I, I don't know what to tell you. So I might get there by like nightfall, depending on speed, but you know, screw it. It's probably not a bad idea to get there by nightfall. I bet it's gonna be real warm. And then we're going to do crank and movement speed. But we're going to pretty much head right over. Let me get on the high ground and get an idea of where this is. I accidentally flew over there once while just exploring. And I saw it. It's near like a really big bridge, which I believe is right there dead ahead of me. And as we go, I'm just going to really kind of keep an eye out for any ruins or anything that we might float over. And then use that for our levels. And I have the fabricated sniper rifle if anything decides to chase me. Besides the wyvern, obviously. I cannot outrun a wyvern just yet, but hopefully soon. Oh, ruins spotted down on the bottom right there. That's nice. Another thing I also wanted to look for was some oil wells that are a little closer to my base. This isn't close enough to grab one. I've been living off of airdrop uh, gasoline tanks, which really isn't that bad. My spot is really good for airdrops. I'm constantly getting reds, golds, 
red ring reds and red ring golds, and it's just really freaking nice, man. I'm, I don't think I'm going to move for the rest of this series. Let's grab that explorer note right there. I think that's a four times XP one, so nine levels. But it might be very, very worth having the RG kill some stuff, some lower level stuff. If possible. Especially with this four times XP buff. Here we go. Hello, Thorny Dragon. There we go, level 19 killed, and that's two levels. Let's just keep swooping some thorny dragons as we head over. And look, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom, another ruin. With hopefully another explorer note somewhere in here. Is that it in the corner right there? Yep, that is it. Is there more than one? Nope, just looks like one. But we're gonna get hella XP from this one. There we go. These are really cool, though, man. I feel like I've only found the super ultra rare ones. 14 levels. Don't mind if I do, brother. And there we go. Our flaps per second are increasing slowly but surely. And I see more thorny dragons to sweep. Oh, and some Carnos as well, I guess. Just want to make sure everything's fine. Don't die to any of this. We got a bit of a pile going. Stamina's fine. There we go. Some XP. Lightning McQueen has some fight in him. There we go. We'll just leave that one be. How many levels we get off of that? Eight. There we go. I was kind of anticipating 150% to be able to outrun the Wyverns, but I'm also just not too sure uh, <laughs> if we can even outrun the Wyverns. This is the natural bridge I was talking about. Just from my exploring, I've been here once before. And right over this hillside is the wyvern crevice, I guess is what we're going to call it. And there are eggies down in there that need to be scooped. And I must be the scooper. So let's go see if we can't spot one out. Look at those dunes, too. We haven't been out in the dunes yet, but I am excited to go out there. Face some giant worms and some other stuff, and there they are. Mr. Wyvern, and like I said, I don't think those are going to get outrun by my current birds, so... We might need a few more levels to get that happening. But I actually think that's an egg right there. Right there next to those double crystals. You see that kind of, like, glowing Cheeto dust? Yep, that's an egg right there, a fertilized egg. I don't know what kind, but it is one. Let me see if there's any more explorer notes up here. And you can kind of see their nests from the side. Like, that one doesn't have an egg in it. And then, let's see if we see any more. Because if I can get out of here with more than one egg, that would be pretty pog. But I'm not going to push my luck. Because once you have one wyvern, it actually isn't too bad to get the second one, because you have the wyvern to get down into there again, right? <laughs> oh, look at that. Crystal. Beautiful. I needed a little bit of this. Don't mind if I do. Just a couple of smacks. And then I need a little bit of wood and fiber, but it doesn't look like wood and fiber grows up here. It looks very barren. But I am still a bit curious if there's going to be an explorer note up here. And look at that out there. Look at that arena. Whoa. That's cool. Honestly, can't wait to go explore out there. The dunes is like more than half the map. So there's a lot to do and a lot to see. And that looks like a golem dead center at the top there. Looks like this might actually be just all golems. I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to scoot down here real quick. Hopefully a wyvern doesn't pop out of the side of this. Or come on up from the crevice. I just need to get a tree down here. Which, there's a Carno in the ground right there, but I 
I'm not sure he's going to be able to get out of that. So we should be okay. Come on. Give me the treat. Thank you. Lightning McQueen, come on. Come on. I still have to name you, but you're you're dubbed the Lightning McQueen. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay. He came out. One of them came out. That's for sure. Just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Get a little bit of wood from this guy. A little bit of fiber from the ground. Leave me alone, Mr. Vulture. All is good in the hood. There we go. That's more than enough. Okay. Awesome. And Spyglass finally acquired. <laughs> Alright, wonderful. So now we can get a much better idea and kind of time our swoop a little better. That's the one we're going for right there. Bada bing, bada boom. There he is. And then, my dumb idiot self doesn't look at the stamina, and we are floating to the ground into scorpions and titanoboas. Okay, well... Um, good thing I got this fabricated sniper rifle. And good thing... Oh god, there's a saber tooth, there's bugs, I'm just gonna jump off now. I'm prepared, more or less. I think we're good, I think we're good. Tying a boa right there, too. Nice, okay. That wasn't too bad. I hear a bug. Where's the bug? Just an ant? I'm just gonna shoot an ant with a fabricated sniper rifle real quick. Alright, there it is. Um, it looks a little more guarded than the last time I saw. Just a tidbit. Just a tidbit more guarded. There's like four of them down there now. And it looks like we have a storm coming in. Which is no bueno. A storm while scooping a wyvern egg. Seems like a really, really just terrible idea. But those two wyverns up top are actually distracted. It looks like. I'm gonna float over to the other side. I just don't want to get any aggro from them quite yet. Alright, screw it. No, 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 no. This is good, this is good, this is good. Land right here, get all our stand back. All of it back. And we're gonna get ready to scoop. This is... I'm so scared, I'm so nervous, man. Let's try to get it before the storm gets here. Alright. Here goes absolutely nothing. Okay. There she is. Grab that. Hop on. Fly out. Go, 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 go. We just need to get out of the hole. We just need to get out of the hole. Once we're out of the hole, dodge the poison blast. Yep. Dodge the fire breath. Oh, sweet lord. Okay. Yeah, they're starting to catch up. The fire breath is on me now. Oh, it's not doing any damage. We're good. We're good. Nope, it's doing damage now. All right, just keep going. Keep going. Just get as distant as we can. I don't think they're going to give up. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on. We're good. We're good. We're good. Look, another explorer note. I would grab that, but we're currently in a scenario. I'm going to run out of stam and then we're boned. Okay, so maybe we just accept fate down here by the explorer note. Yep. Huh. I don't think this is going to happen. Oh. All right. You know, that it went exactly as I expected it to. Storm starting to clear up. Let's head back over and try to scoop everything. Lightning McQueen definitely took one for the team. But I anticipated as much. We got the egg out of the crevice. That's all we needed to do. Hey, look at that. A little ruin on the way. Might as well level up this guy, too. If we have the chance, right? Bada bing, bada boom. Scoop you. Some nice levels. We'll go up in a little bit of movement speed. Maybe even start getting this guy just a little more speedy. I don't usually go too far with him. But I'd like to start. 
And now my curiosity is, will the wyverns still be floating around there or they work their way back to the crevice? I'm curious. I thought eventually they would turn around if we got enough distance, but it looked like they were going to literally chase me forever. So that's why I kind of just chose a nice safe spot to land, quote unquote, <laughs> to die. And no, they, they hang out around that egg, so they're going to guard it. Oh gosh, what am I going to do about that? That seems like a problem. Like one of them's kind of gone and the other two are still hanging out. And I don't know what their aggro range is, but I imagine it's pretty big. But maybe eventually they'll chase off something wild. There we go, the red one kind of just zooted off. Now I'm just waiting for the ice one to zoot. Oh, there you go. Okay, they're starting to kind of move away. I might be able to go down and grab it. I don't know. Oh, see the lightning one's there too. We got one of each element just watching us, huh? I need to just get down and in there. And I'm unsure if they re-aggro from me picking up my body. I would really hate to lose this RG. He's the OG, the original. But it does literally look like that they're guarding their egg again. Oh wait, poison one's kind of really getting some height. That ice one's still down there, but he's aggroed on the Paracer. So let's see, let's see. Gotta find my body because I accidentally got rid of the thing. Okay, it's actually right there next to the ice one. Which now just killed the Paracer. Fuck it. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Alright, leave. Time to leave. Time to leave. Okay. Wait, it looks like they didn't re-aggro. <gasps> Guys. Mission accomplished. My armor didn't even break either. We got a fire wyvern egg. Let's go hatch it. Oh, God. Mega heat wave. Just like that. Honestly, it's probably good for the egg. Would it just hatch during a mega heat wave on its own? I'm curious. That would be crazy. But this is bad for me. Unless my new armor is kind of doing the work. No, I think actually our heat resist is pretty good. We might actually be fine, or maybe it just hasn't fully kicked in yet. Usually it takes a little bit to kick in, so we'll see. Oh, Jesus. That's my landing spot, sir. That is my landing spot, sir. I was just trying to get some stamina. Are you going to throw a rock at me for real? Okay, it wasn't accurate. You definitely should not join the NFL, and you should remain a rock golem. Are you going to jump down here at me? Oh, you're just going to go for a little float and shimmy. And then go back to sleep. Good boy. And we are now indeed overheated. And losing HP. We have had a lot of weather come through today already. I had a sandstorm right before recording, too. So sandstorm, heavy heat wave, and a lightning storm. All within the hour. Crazy. I think the weld is trying to stop me from getting a, uh, a wyvern. But luckily, I think nighttime just kicked in, so we're actually good. The heat wave during the night will actually help me hatch the wyvern. So beautiful. All right, into the newly built sauna we go. I'm really hoping that this is enough campfires. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was like 15 or something. We have 16. So we should have more than enough. Ugh. Throw this in here and get ready for our FPS to absolutely drop to oblivion. Uh, oh, E. Uh. Light the fire, bubbly fire, please. Uh, uh. Oh, E. Ah. God, I'm like 10 FPS, please. Is it warm enough yet? No? Uh, 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 how about now, mother trucker? There we go. Egg incubation inbound. And I'm also gonna need, oh gosh, I haven't crafted a trough yet. I don't think I have any metal for it, so it looks like we might be hand feeding it. You Tyrannus, where are you? I need your meat. Can you baby bird it into the wyvern for me? Please and thank you. Look at that. 
Look at those fires. Oh! And then we need to kind of turn them off right away. Do not want the wyvern to step on the fires and burn and die, if that is possible. I've seen that happen many a times with other eggs. And honestly, for how... I mean, it wasn't easy, but... We did make it work. It makes me want to go back for the ice wyvern egg, too. And I'd like to get one of each wyvern. That'd be cool as hell. What is happening? Why did it just get even brighter? Is the egg getting brighter as it's about to hatch? Jesus Christ. It's like looking into the sun. And the parents were two level 42 fire wyverns, so I'm assuming that this is going to be a 42 fire wyvern. I'm losing HP standing in there. It is that ridiculous. Holy crap. Lost half of my HP, but it's about to hatch in like 10 seconds here. I'm just overheating so much, I kind of have to like step in and out. I look away. Good FPS, I look here. It's gone. <laughs> there we go. Boop. Baby Fire Wyvern imprint. You guys name the Fire Wyvern down below as long as obviously he survives. But she should. Growth rates aren't too bad. In single player. I'm going to start turning these puppies off so we're not overheating our computer as well as our character. Keep a couple lit. No big deal. There we go. And I'm going to need him to kind of rotate and get out of here or he might actually end up getting stuck. He's a big boy, but we could just break down the sauna if need be. That's always a possibility. Come here, buddy. You're already juvenile. What a beautiful boy. Come here. Wait, is it a boy? Boy or a girl? It is... A boy. It is a beautiful boy. Look at him. Look at this baby boy right here. Oh, he's so cute. Hi, buddy. Are you going to breathe fire on all my foes and melt them all and maybe create a throne of lies and destruction on this entire earth? Yeah, you think so? Okay, that sounds fun. There we go. He's just got the turn radius of a goddamn bus, apparently. Come here. There we go. And you can grow up out here where I'm not dying from temperature. How about that? Look at this guy, man. I remember when they first introduced these back when Scorched Earth first came out on Ark Survival Evolved, man. This was like the end all be all coolest thing ever added to Ark. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. One thing I didn't do, I didn't grab Lightning McQueen's body. I could always go back there. He should be on the ground for more than 24 hours, so. Whenever we're able to revive them, maybe we can go find Lightning McQueen again. Fire Wyvern wants to go on a walk with you. Come on, Fire Wyvern, let's go on a little walkie. Come on, buddy. Come on. We're going on a little bit of a walk. We're just going to do some circles. That should be enough, right? There you go. Imprinting. 33%. What a good boy. Oh my god, you are getting big quick, aren't you? You are getting big quick, aren't you? Look at him. Oh my gosh. Nice. I'm going to need quite a few of these puppies because I do want to go into the desert soon. My dude is... Getting a little too chilly, huh? A little too chilly out here. During the nighttime. Let's go ahead and pick this up. There we go. Just to have. Oh, okay. Okay. I forgot you were following. My bad, dude. There we go. Good boy. Let's put this right here. I don't even think it's going to be enough to warm me up, man. It's all good, though. All I need to do is give him a little bit of care in five seconds, and then I can go chill by the air conditioner until the next imprinting. And what do you want now? You want to go for another walk? What a good boy. I need to be careful saying that, though. My dog's IRL are right behind me. And that is indeed a trigger word for them. <laughs> Here we go. There's your walk. Good boy. And then he's got another two minutes and then one more little imprinting. And we're good to go. But you stay right there. I'm going to go warm up in my beautiful palace. Go ahead and turn this puppy on and... Nice and toasty in here. Hi, Jar Jar. I'll take you to go meet your new brother here in a second. Look, Jar Jar. Your new brother. He's kind of like you, but he's got more teeth. He's got wings. He breathes fire. You know what? He's nothing like you, but it's still your brother. Okay? All right. He might full grow before the next imprinting. Because he only needs 7%. 
And I feel like that's probably only going to take 20 seconds. If we can get that final imprinting before the full grows, that would be awesome. But, you know, we can't always get what we want. Looks like a 2600 HP. Lots of food. What a hungry boy. Decent weight. Melee damage 191. Okay. Not too shabby. Okay, look, we might actually get the final imprinting on. Especially if he wants to go for a W here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, just get that last imprint for me. Oh, I don't think we did. That's all good, though. It's time to fly. It's time to ride. Right click for the fire breath. Don't mind if I do. But it is cold as shiitake mushrooms out here, so I'm gonna wait for morning, and then we're gonna go cook some dinosaurs for some levels, yeah? 6 a.m. sharp. Here we go. It's a little cold still, but we're not dying from the cold, so all is good. And look at this thing. Oh, yeah. I might actually use him to steal the next egg, because we might be able to just outrun the other wyverns with him. I'm going to do a little drive-by on the Argentavises. 35 damage, a fire breath tick. 23 from the actual tick damage. But his HP and his stamina aren't the craziest thing I've ever had. That's for dang sure. We're going to need to go up a bit of stam. Especially with these Argentavis is getting pissed off at me. And he's getting some of his HP back. He didn't have full HP from being a baby. And maybe just bites might make sense. Oh, 184 a bite. Okay. Not too shabby. Definitely just cranking stamina for now. So I want to be able to fire breathe if we want to. Because it's the coolest thing ever. Just like that. But that's half my stamina from one fire breath. Yeah, definitely going to crank stamina. Oh! See, now an explorer note on this guy actually would be a really good idea. So let me take off towards, like, Blue Obby. I don't think I've looked for explorer notes in that direction yet. And then we can start murdering some stuff. But damn, does it feel good to fly this fast. I, I almost wish there was a wyvern saddle. Just so we can get some armor on him. That would have been real epic. And would you look at this? There's like a little staircase. This is cool. I didn't even see this before. It's like an overlook. But there is an explorer note right there. Boop. And that's going to be eight levels. All for stamina, of course. And now he's up to level 55. I'm going to look for a couple more and then start murdering everything in sight. I actually don't think I've ever been over here before. We're going to be able to actually explore the map so much more efficiently with this guy. And look at that green. Look how green it is at Blue Obby. Holy crap. That's insane. I wonder if there's an explorer note down there. Hello, green region. There's a Uteranus down there, that's for sure. Just saw that roar. But as for ruins... Um... Okay, wait, that looks a little not natural. No, that's natural. But that's not natural. Look at that. It's like a little cube. That's a little cube. Can we fit our giant ass head in there? That's the question. Is that where the explorer note is? Am I in the explorer note? The explorer note is outside of the cube. <laughs> okay. Well. Let's go ahead and scoop that big old wide turn like an 18-wheeler. We'll just land to make it a little easier for ourselves. Headbutt that thing real quick. And then let's take this four times XP and go murder some stuff. Who wants to get cooked? Anyone? Anyone want to become barbecue? This thorny dragon down here wants to become barbecue, like I said before. I despise these things. So I'm more than down to barbecue him. Don't mind if I do. We're gonna be very careful not to float off and get killed by a giant war sandworm, though. That would be a problem. There, more stamina. Almost at a thousand now. 
I'm also not sure which of the wyverns is the most powerful. I'd like to collect all of them, one of each, a poison, an ice, a lightning, and a fire. But I feel like fire would do the most because it's got like a tick damage on top of it, but I could be mistaken. I know the poison wyvern's a bit more accurate. Like, you can actually shoot the projectile pretty far. You don't have to, like, actively swoop down two inches away from it to burn it. But I don't know. I guess we're going to have to test that out by getting more wyverns. You know what? Screw it. Let's go get another one. I want a different type. I'm craving it already. I just, I want to collect all of the different types of elements in the wyverns. So we're going to go grab another Ardentavis real quick. And what the hell's going on over here? Excuse me? A terror bird snuck in? For real? Where from? I must have came around this little edge right here. I'm gonna have to fix that at some point. Whoopsie. Yeah, screw it. Let's go get ourselves another one. There's already a couple Argies right there. I bet one of them's gonna be a decent level for me. I can feel it. I feel like the universe is like, hey, an easy wyvern is sitting right there, waiting for you to scoop it up again. I'm thinking personally an ice one would be really cool. Go ahead and pass a view and go ahead and absolutely potato aim that guy. Don't mind me. Two to the dome. He must be a decent level if he's not flying away yet. Eleven. Mm, let's see if we can't do better. If we can't, then we'll just tame this one. Hit some explorer notes again. It really only depends on speed. HP and stuff doesn't matter because it's probably going to get sacrificed for the greater good no matter what. Oh gosh, what is happening? Carnos, hyenas. Here we go, come on. Thank you. Got one hit. I'm going to bait him in a little closer. Make it a little easier for myself. See if he runs from two. He's not running from two, but we can give it four, three, two, one. And now he's running. So I'm going to assume that it's probably around a level... I don't know, it might be like around a level 30. Based on its torpidity right there. 19, okay. I was a little off. It's still better than the last one. So we can go ahead and munch and crunch this guy. Get a little bit of prime off of that. Deal with this Carno over here. Just so he doesn't roll up and eat my RG. Because the role of Eaton Arnji is reserved for the Wyverns at this point. As I say that, a goddamn Sabertooth eats the other one. Oh my god. This is why I was grabbing the UD in the first place. And there's an Argentavis stuck inside my metal base. What level are you? Actually, this might be rather convenient. Level 8. Never mind. Nope. You're just staying captured. I'm not taming that. Hello there, Mr. Carno. I'm gonna take you out so I can get that guy up top right there. Beautiful. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, is it aggro to me? Oh, beautiful. What level? 20-something? 20 28. 28's pretty good. 28's pretty good. Come on, one, two more. Bop, boop. Be boop. Come on, fall asleep, buddy. Go to sleep. Let's hit it again. Screw it. Eat this Carno. I need to get down there and eat stuff around this before it gets eaten. What a precarious location to fall off. Very awkward. There's another UD down there. Hmm. What level are you and do you happen to be a female? No, it's a male 14. I'm so sorry, cutie. We will find you a girlfriend eventually. Don't you worry. They're just far and in between. I'm gonna grab the wyvern and play a bit of airdrop lottery. We might as well. I think this is a perfect time for some airdrop lottery. What level are you? Are you looking, you looking juicy? Eight? What? Useless. I'm also out of water as well, so I should go down to the pond real quick. Be nice if the wyvern could pick stuff up. I'd love to be able to pick up the morello and fill him with water. I also need to repair my shiznit for the journey as well. My armor is not looking too good from all the fire, ice, poison, and electric breath. Hello, Mr. Deodon. Mayhaps you leave me alone? Okay, there's two of them. There's two of them. Okay, hold on a sec. Actually, there goes my pants, you son of a gun. 
Okay, there's three of them. Okay. Um, we're going under. Uh, 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 okay, we're under. And where is my wyvern? Hello. This is where you come in handy. Don't mind if I do. You guys are gonna become bacon here momentarily. And it looks like they're not bacon yet. There we go. Oh, there we go. I got hits on them. The burn's not great. Maybe we just fight it on the ground. That might be easier. Oh, yeah, that's a lot easier. Now we got the burns and the bites. There we go. Remember when I lost King on what episode two doing this? Theodons definitely need to be, like, respected for their amount of damage and healing that they have. And look at them chunking me. Isn't that crazy, man? Theodons are some of the toughest mother truckers on this map. It is crazy. But for now, it looks like you still need a little bit more HP if you're losing to a Deodon. You also gotta realize that they don't have armor. These things are just bare naked, so... Go ahead and get a few repairs. What are we missing out on? Silk? I can go kill a moth real quick. That's no big deal. Jar Jar, what are you crying about? You want to go out? Here you go. How's that, Jar Jar? A lot better? Nope, still crying. What can you do? Argentavis has teamed up on the hill. You know what? I think just the chest piece is fine. Because ultimately the wyverns, I mean, I'm not going to guarantee it. We might be able to get away from the wyverns this time. But, uh, they're gonna damage my armor a bit anyway, and then I'm gonna have to re-repair it. As long as I'm good outside and I'm not too hot, not too cold, I'm perfectly happy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Cutie. Cutie. Cutie! Uh, uh. Oh, don't run out of stamina now. Feet don't fail me now, brother. <gasps> Please. So they're catching up. Oh, they're catching up. Oh, they're definitely catching up. Oh, I'm gonna get my ass tickled. Stop it. Stop it. I'm out of water as well. Oh. Cutie. Wait, did they give up? Wait, no, I outran them. Wait, I'm the freaking fastest that's ever damn lived. Hell yeah. Hey, RG, quickly. I was gonna do... The airdrop lottery, but I think water might be a little more important right now. Coyote should be okay up there for now. I'm not too worried about him. Also, I don't even know. I can't remember. Do ice wyverns need cooling? And fire wyverns need heat? I don't know if it functions that way. I guess we're going to find out. I do have two air conditioners. Oh, great. This is what we're going to do to me right now. As I'm flying over to capture wyverns. You're gonna hit me with one of these, huh? Alright, well. We can fly through this, but... Oh, Jesus. I need to get to this rock over here. This is no bueno. This flew in real quick, man. Every type of weather today. Come on, get over to the edge, please. Although I am slowly losing HP, I believe. No, we're, we seem to be okay, actually. I don't know what this is right in front of me, though. I thought it was going to be a structure. It's just a rock. Visibility in this is uh, not good, to say the least. <laughs> I got sand where the sand don't shine. I'll tell you that much. It looks like it might be clearing up. It's not as loud anymore, and I can fly at normal speeds. There we go. It's just passing over now. Let's see if there's any explorer notes in the area. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Let's go grab some of that, shall we? I don't even see it, actually. Is it inside the building? I bet I could shove my fat Argentavis head inside there. There you go. Oop, got it more cave paintings. Don't mind if I do. Movement speed acquired. 112. Nice suit. 
can go up and over this rock as well, because I haven't been in this area really too much. There might be another explorer node over here somewhere. Look at these little crevices down here. That'd be sick for a base, huh? Just to build up here and have like a natural moat almost. I wonder if that's what it's for. Could set up some spikes on one side. Be a really good PvP spot, I think. A water spout right there. This whole area is really cool. Another big old titanosaur right there. I'm curious if the bones over here has one. I found an explorer note in the bones before, so I'm curious if there's another. I hear you, big guy. Sounds like you had a long day. <laughs> oh, there's a little cube right there. It's not inside of the bones, but there's one next to it. I can check to see if I already grabbed that one or not. Let's just double check that there isn't one in the bones. I feel like one in the skull would be super cool. Is there one? No. Feels like a missed opportunity, but you know, there can't be an explore note in every single bone pile, right? There is one right here. Don't mind if I do. There we go. 15 levels off of that one. There we go. That's the movement speed we were looking for. And while I'm over there, I'm actually going to look for the soul of the first RG that perished in the journey. Lightning McQueen. Because I hear there's a way to revive them on this map. Using an Oasisaur, an Oasisaur, an Oasis something. I don't know how it works yet. I don't know. I don't really want to know how it works yet. I'll get there eventually. But it would cool to be cool to revive these guys again and use them, you know? All right, here we are. Um, I... Oh, hello. Yep, so the wyverns are still out and about. Way outside of their hole. So if anything... I can't really scoop the soul right now. They're not in their hole. But... I'm going to try to scoop another egg, obviously, and try to get myself maybe just to this bridge would be good enough. And then I have the wyvern to get back over here, which is a lovely thing. There's also another explorer note right here, I believe. But honestly, I feel like I'd rather grab it on the wyvern. This guy's got enough speed to do what we need to do. All right, here goes nothing. Let's get one spotted out at least. See what kind it is. I wouldn't mind another fire one, but also uh, I'd prefer... A different element. I need to become the avatar. Master all of them. Alright, I don't see any right there. That's just an Arvin Chavis. I see wings and I get a little scared. Oh, there's one. What kind are we looking at, though? Looking like a fire again. Yeah, that's looking like another fire one. Not necessarily trying to grab another fire one. If all else fails, I can, but... I'm being picky this time around. It is starting to get hot as heck. Seems like I probably should have put on more of my clothes. That's alright, I think we'll make it. Maybe I'll cross to the other side and see if they're underneath where I was flying, perhaps? I am starting to get heat exhaustion now. Which is not good. Also need to avoid getting aggroed by any of these wyverns. I'm glad I switched sides, good lord. They were just out of my render distance. I say that now, and then look at that. That's looking like an ice wyvern egg right there. Or something like that. Lightning, maybe? Look at that big old coliseum out there. What kind of statues on top of that? That's cool. I'm gonna check that out at some point. I just saw a wyvern land in there with that egg. Oh my god, and then we run out of stam. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Alright, I'm dying of heat. I'm landing next to the wyvern pit. Near the sand dunes. I'm really, sincerely... Oh, do not aggro me, buddy. Sincerely hoping that one of those wyverns doesn't get on me. And that there isn't... A sandworm in this area either because I can't handle either of those things right now <laughs> oh, come on just get to the ledge get to the ledge and we'll figure it out at 250 HP and dropping 
All is good in the hood, don't you worry. We got this. It's just getting a little blurry. Just a little bit. Don't mind me. There's an oasis down there. We could use that. As long as it's safe, I could just swim for now and cool off pretty quickly. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This might be a little down to the wire. There's moths out here though, so once we cool off, I'm gonna grab one of these moths. Or a tent, that is. Also, I see explorer notes right there too. Keep that in mind for when we come back with the wyvern. This red obby looks really nice to be honest. Isn't that a cave at the end of the water there? That might be the caves they're talking about. When it comes to uh, go underground, it's too hot. I'm just going to go underwater because it's too hot. How about that? What is going on out there? What's attacking? A dire wolf? Really? Really? Do you have any regular arrows on me? I don't. Didn't really anticipate this being a problem. Just going to hit him with the trank arrows. Down and out for the count. I'm staying cool while I'm doing it though. Staying cool in the pool. Leave me alone. Oh, there's so many scorpions in this area. Alright, I'm not overheated anymore. Let's just make sure the heat wave's over. Seems like it might be. Yep, alright. Let's go steal that egg. Alright, where are you? I see it right there. And I'm... Oh god, there's a wyvern in there, man. Literally inside the hole where the egg is. That's not good. I see another one right there, though. Is that the fire again? Oh no, that's blue as well. That might actually be an easier one. Because there's no wyvern inside the hole. But I think the hardest part as to where I am right now is I have to fly straight up this hill. And there's no way that I'm outrunning the wyverns going up. Oh, there's actually another one right there. Oh, wait, we have some options. Got another blue one there. Another, there's... Essentially three blue ones just like that. I think I'm going to go for the far right one right now because that purple guy's flying away. Oh, God. There's an orange one right there swooping in. I'm going to try to avoid it, stay above it. Oh, I think we're going to get a few more wyverns than last time chasing us. As long as we can avoid aggro before grabbing it, then I'm a happy camper. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Dodge him. Fly straight up. We're just gonna get the heck out of here. We're not getting hit right off the bat again, and there we go. And that did not work. No! Okay, well... It seems like the Argentavis was uh, maybe not fast enough. We should have got a few more Explorer notes on him. I don't know. The first time, we, we might have just straight up lucked out. I guess I'm going to have to try to recover my stuff, but we're not going to do that right now. Thanks for hanging out with me again today, guys. You guys have uh, been showing a lot of support in the series so far. If you made it all the way to the end here, definitely hit the subscribe button notification icon make sure it's at the always like on the video means a lot comment down below what you want me to name the first and new wyvern maybe we'll try to figure out a plan to uh recover the egg that i just stole as well as all my things in the next episode adios